Nice. Having to redo the entire video. Splendid. <laughs> it's okay, though, because I really la gapped in the last one, so I'm fine to redo it. So, what is up? Today we're going to be do going over day five of the boot camp, I'm pretty sure. Let me triple check. Yep. Uh, it'd be day five. Day five. So, yesterday we learned how to f figure out if we're going to be trying to trade upwards or trying to trade downwards. Trying to trade bullish, trying to trade bearish. Placing sells, placing buys. Now, today we're going to go over um, how to actually take... No, not how to take trade. How to actually mark out the levels to use your daily bias to in the next couple of videos to learn how to take the trade. Okay? So, what this is going to do is it's going to set up for you to take a trade. We're not going to get into how to take a trade, but this is going to set up how... This is going to set up how you're going to learn to take a trade. <laughs> Complicated, right? Okay. So, for today, I'm going to be... Oh, another thing I want to mention really quick, though. The last video, I mentioned daily bias. Just so you know, you do not need daily bias for this strategy. It will dramatically increase the win rate. And it is good to have, obviously. It's great to have daily bias. You, you pretty much... You don't need it, but it is amazing to have it. And it will highly increase the win rate. But if your daily bias... If you... If you're in a position where you cannot tell on the daily bias if price is going to go up or down, if you cannot tell whether price is going to go up or down for the day, and you get a setup, take it, okay? If price has a clear bearish daily bias and you get a bullish setup, don't take it. But if you, but if price is like <laughs> doing something like this, right, and you cannot find a daily bias, no daily bias because you cannot find it, is okay. Um, no daily bias is okay, but but you should look at your daily bias. But if you cannot find a daily bias, if price is in a tough situation, say this was the four hour time frame, and you don't know if price is going to continue to push down or it's going to push up, uh, you can just not have a daily bias. Okay. I mean, obviously right here it push up, but uh, anyways, yeah, you can just not have a daily bias. That, that's fine. Uh, but you should look for one. But if you don't have one, it's okay. Okay. Today, I'm going to be doing this on GBP USD chart because it's clear. Or actually, I'll just do it on another. I'll just do it on Forex.com chart because I don't use it. So, let's go over today how you're going to be marking out your levels. So, the second you go find your daily bias through news and through a four hour, one hour time frame, the next step is this right here. Okay? So, you're going to be loading onto the markets around between 8.30 and 9 o'clock in the mornings if you want to do my strategy. First thing you're going to want to do is mark out 3 a.m. EST, this is. I think it's EST. I really don't even know my own time zone. 3, 9, and 12. Okay. So, if you're wondering what this is, right here, this is London Session alone okay right here this is here we have all right that's super simple that's it so between uh, 3 a.m. and 9 a.m. is going to be London session alone. Uh, b between 9 a.m. and 12 is going to be London session overlapping with New York session. In between 12 and on, 12 to like 5 or something like that, I'm not sure, because I don't really work on that. <laughs> You're going to do, in it's going to be NYC session alone. So what the goal is here is to find out, is to, I'm just going to not even get into this. Okay, so now that you have these three levels marked out and you understand what they are, you see times marked out. You're going to want to wait for 9 o'clock to hit. The second price hits 9 o'clock, you're going to want to go over here and click horizontal line and mark out the highs and lows, the highs and lows, the prominent highs and lows, the total highs and lows between 3 a.m. and 9 a.m. of the chart. Okay? So right there, you see the high and you see the low. Okay? Then, this is going to give us what I like to call, like, a golden box. Like, the golden box. Okay? This box means everything here. 
Okay. W what you're going to wait for inside of this box is you're going to wait patiently for price to break either the high or the low without crossing this line. So you're going to wait. Okay. As you can see, price crosses it. And that's it. That's all we're going to work on today. Okay, all you all you need to memorize is 3 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 noon, marking out the highs and lows between these two levels, and then patiently waiting for one of them to get broken. The next video is going to be, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure what the next video is yet. I think the next video is going to be, uh, um, how to enter. And I'm going to end the next video on, like, uh, the conf, like, on, like, a fair value gap. Um, and then probably go over all the confluences you can enter off of, which is really just two. And then probably the correct candle type. And then the next video after that will be stop loss, take profit. That's probably going to be it. So, I mean, there's not many more videos left for the series strategy-wise. But today, all you need is the only things you need to take away from today. Write this down. 3 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 noon, the highs and lows between 3 a.m. and 9 a.m. for lemon session. And then wait for one of them to get broken, okay? Once one of them get broken, before passing this, say that price were to do this right here. Okay. It's disqualified. The, to, the, the day trading day is disqualified because it passed noon without sweeping a high or low, okay? Say price were to do something like this. It it passed the it broke the high without crossing past noon. The second prize crosses past noon, the all the chaos that we're gonna try and take control of is gone. Okay, so it can go like that. It can go like that. It can do like that. Anything. Okay, boys. So all we're looking for is 3 a.m., 9 a.m. highs, and lows. One of them gets broken. That's all you need to take away from today. That was today's lesson. Um, yeah, I'm going to record the next video right now. Let's go.